What's up guys, my name is Liam, and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Glassworks Henna. There's been a bunch of amazing glass pads coming out this year, but there's no question that Glassworks has kind of been ahead of the curve, setting new trends with just the overall feeling of their pads, the general build of them, and performance, and they've clearly been a huge fan favorite in the community. So with that being said, what are the changes that they made to this one, how is the performance, and more importantly, could this possibly be the perfect glass pad for you? Let's check it out. And before we get started today, I did want to let you know that this was sent out to me, but everything you're going to be hearing in this video is going to be my own words and my own opinions. Here's a look of the box that it does come included in, and it is a pretty premium feeling unboxing experience. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of foam in here to ensure that it is safe. It does come with this cleaning cloth. They also did include this really cool looking postcard here. There's a look of it on the front and the back. And it also does come with a set of dot skates. Packaging on this looks really cool. They are partnering with Unusual Way Sports to bring you these dot skates. I've talked about these in a previous review, and in fact, I've actually even been in contact with Unusual Way Sports. They actually sent me out quite a bit of skates, and I really do feel like these feel great. Just to kind of break down their skates for you guys really quick, for those of you that are interested, they did send me out some full-size sets for my G Pro decks. And the two versions they have, the first one is the Silver Fox, which is what this comes included with. So this version, they do feel a little bit more controlled. They do still have a smooth glide, so they don't feel too muddy or anything like that. I find these to be perfect for glass pads or harder style speed pads. And then the second type of skates that they offer, these ones are called the Magic Ice. And these are just your typical looking 100% virgin ptfe skates and i would say that i do prefer these magic ice skates if you're somebody who plays more on a cloth style control pad or something like that gives you just a little bit of a quicker glide over the silver fox skates so the first thing i do want to say about this pad the second i open it up is i'm really amazed at how incredible this artwork looks on here these colors and just the clarity of this it really pops and shines through i do feel like this is probably one of the most clear and bold looking glass pads that I have seen in person. Really impressive stuff coming from them with the artwork. The dimensions of this is sitting at 490 millimeters in width by 420 millimeters in height, and this is sitting at three millimeters in thickness. It is using a custom silicone base for the backing. It does go from edge to edge, has a pretty cool design. This has felt very sticky, and I have not had any issues with this moving around on my desk while I've been using it. This is using their brand new 2.5D edgeless design, and these are without question the best edges that I've seen on a glass pad to date. Looking at this image, you could see just how much more rounded it is compared to other things. And the edge really does go smoothly from the very end of the pad. And it does kind of have a little bit of length there going up towards the middle. Overall, just makes this pad feel just a lot more comfortable to use in general. And for the surface, this is still giving you that same Glassworks premium feel. Every time I get one of these glass pads and put it on my desk, I'm always amazed at how buttery smooth the surface of this feels. And when you pair it with the Silver Fox skates, you get a very quiet and very smooth feeling glide. I hate using the word smooth because I use that all the time. I feel like that's an overused word in glass pads, but, but really trust me when I say it, the surface of this, you like practically feel almost no texture on it. So the performance of this feels great and it does feel pretty similar somewhat to the previous Glassworks mouse pads, just with a little bit of a difference there. As far as the overall glide across the surface goes, this still does have a pretty quick glide. So the glide speed, as I was testing this next to the Cosme, the glide speed across the surface on both of them feels nearly identical, and that's even the same thing that I was getting back from my glide test results. The one difference with this pad, however, compared to the Cosme is down in the micro adjustments. You do feel a bit more of control with the static friction, so I do feel like you get a greater sense of stopping power as well. All right, guys, so that about wraps things up on the Glassworks HANA. Sorry, I'm not going into too much more detail on this. Um, I've covered these Glassworks pads before, 
And as I've stated in just about all those videos, every time I get one of these, I was actually talking to them and I said, I bet you people are getting pretty exhausted of every time I get one of your new glass pads saying that this is the best one that I've ever tried. Because really every time they're always doing everything they can to improve it and just kind of take it a step further with the clarity of the image, the premium feeling on the new edge design and the fact that this is just a little bit more profile kind of just makes it feel all around just that much more comfortable. One thing I also did forget to mention is this glass pad feels incredible on my skin. So two glass pads that I've recently tested out that kind of stick out from anything else that I've used is the Beast one I just recently reviewed and this one. This really does feel fantastic on the skin. I haven't noticed any major issues where it feels too sticky for me or anything like that. I have been using this pad without a sleeve with no issues at all. So just all around, they've been doing a really good job at elevating their glass pads and just continuously taking them to the next level. I honestly don't really know where they can go from here, but I guess we're just gonna have to wait and find out because it's going to be pretty surprising if they can come up with ideas on how to make this any better than it is. All right, guys, so if you have any questions or feel like I left anything out, please let me know down in the comments below. If you've enjoyed watching this video and are interested in seeing more videos like this in the future, please drop this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.